Welcome to another Creaky Gamer Star Wars Battle Report. Okay. Intercept the transmissions. No worries. I'll do uh, Moff Gideon has got uh, the Dark Saber and improvised orders. Um, there's a unit of Dark Troopers with the extra Dark Trooper and the, the big Assault Cannon. Um, and then there's two units of Death Troopers. There's one there. And another one over here. They've just got the normal Death Trooper weapon and the free upgrade one. And situational awareness on them. And there's two units of scouts. One there and one scouted over there. They've got the T-21. Stormtroopers with a DLT. St I mean, Shore Troopers with a Stormtrooper DLT. And Stormtroopers with the Rocket and Specialist. Yeah, where have your list behind the trees there is Gar Saxon behind the trees. He's behind the trees. He is yes, behind right. the trees. There he is. So Gar Saxon with his usual loadout. Two units of Mandos with the rockets and the shields. And a unit of scout bikers posing as um swoop bikers. Yep. Um, and then one unit and another unit of pikes. They got the capo and the heavy weapon. Uh yeah, the P-13 at the capo. Yep, right. There's the third unit of Mandos and another couple of um, swoop bikes. Yes, the Mandos all have up close and personal Super Commando Gunslinger, Combat Shields and the Jetpacks. Right. And Mr. Saxon has Hunter. Ah, yeah. I took off when I put the other bikes in this morning. Right. I took the up close and personal off the Mandos and gave it to Gar Saxon. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just around. Right. Orders for turn one. Um, remnants. One has to be troopers. Turn one. I'm doing uh, fight another day. Fight another day. Okay, so not much going to happen on turn one. It is um, intercept the transmissions. Uh, and uh, limited visibility so we're both jockeying for position i think i have an advantage with the rock being on my side of the um transmission transmitter there you can see that my death troopers can move up get within one range one of that um intercept point um so a bit of an advantage so we're just jostling for position um only range two this turn so he keeps one unit of swoop bikes back and safe, but he does overcommit with one unit of swoop bikes, which you'll see in a minute. Um, the actual swoop bike, he's proxying a couple of speeder bikes as there. So there's the actual swoop bikes. Those ones stay back out of range up the top left of your screen there. And so the rest of the turn is basically moving up, not firing much, but then he does drop some swoop bikes here. He decides to keep them back a little bit. But they do end up within range 2 if I move my scout troopers up. So those scout troopers with the T-21, they're quite a deadly unit. I mean, they've only got white saves, surging white saves. But look, they throw a mountain of dice and that uh, swoop bike's gone. So it's quite interesting, the remnant battle force. You can switch out all those heavy weapons and lots of good advantages. So an interesting battle force. So quite enjoyed playing them. So anyway, just jostling full position on turn one, and we'll move on to turn two. And now, turn two. Pretty dramatic, isn't he? He's dramatic. Pretty dramatic. Victory or death, fight another day. He's very dramatic. Uh, yep. You can roll a dice on a block, it's you. Red defense dice? Yeah, red defense dice on a block. No, no yeah. it's us. No. So, entourage, I will give an order to the... Uh, there was, oh no, Entourage, I can give an order to the Dark Troopers and three core units or, yes, yeah, so I'll just do it. Okay, so first activation, I decide to get the Scout Troopers out of trouble. Uh, so I just take an unaimed shot into the Mandos there. So it's just the leader and the T-21. Um, just trying to knock those shields off and people say the Mandos need help, but I think they're pretty good. They have shields rockets and everything um, so they're very hard to kill so I just have a quick shot and then I duck back behind some cover so that was the scouts um, and then the mandos I do always have a lot of trouble dealing with mandos 
So I don't think that they're a weak unit, but that's just my opinion, facing them quite a lot. I always struggle to kill them, and uh, but they can always, you know, once you've got through their shields, you just hope, put a lot of dice into them and hope they roll blocks. But they do throw out a lot of dice themselves and get aims and everything as well. So I think these Mandos are laying some fire into my scouts there as well. And I've lost a scout. <coughs> Low profile, heavy cover. Um, and then they've ducked back behind cover as well. So we're at range 3 now with uh, limited visibility. So the remnants, you want to try and keep them spread out. And then I'm worried about these other swoop bikes. So I'm going to try and get rid of them. I think the Death Troopers or the um, Storm Troopers with the, yeah, the H12, HH12 rockets into the swoop bikes in some cover, plus they're um, carrying cover, and we managed to knock out a swoop bike, I think. Oh, they've got dodges, got dodges. So we do a couple of wounds to the swoop bikes. You don't want the sweep bikes into your lines. I know they're not much chop, but um, they're a good manoeuvrable unit, and we're going to see that overrun come into effect later on as well. So just backwards and for forwards, firing now. We moved up under the cover of limited visibility, and I'm losing death troopers now from those uh, mandos. So the mandos have had a shot, and then they've ducked behind the rocks there as well. So... You can't get hold of them. They're shooting at us, and then they're moving away. So the Death Troopers move up, and they're going to try and get rid of those um, bikes. I've done a couple of wounds. So they fire a shot into the swoop bikes, and I think we might get rid of one this time. Let's hope so. Oh, there's a boatload of dice, so Death Troopers can throw a lot of dice as well. And it's not the Death Troopers. It's actually the Dark Troopers. Death and Dark, you get them mixed up, don't you? Yeah, so that's the Dark Troopers. They um, finished off one of the bikes, but there's still one bike coming. And on to the next bit. Okay, so a bit more shooting here and there, and we pick up the action here where the Mandos, yes, more Mandos, are going to fire their rockets at my uh, Dark Troopers. I get the right name this time. Four hits, no need for aims. Four hits straight into the Dark Troopers. I think it's Impact 3, so they, um, <clears throat> it's Impact 3, isn't it? Impact 3 with the rockets? Are they Impact? Impact 4. So I've got to make four saves. I dodge one, because I did have a dodge from, uh, thanks to Moff Gideon, I passed two saves. So only one wound on the Dark Troopers. So that was a bit of a lucky break. Could have lost a couple of Dark Troopers there. Um, and then a bit of return fire, which still still trying to get rid of that um, swoop bike. So my death troopers are going to shoot into it as well. And uh, they failed to remove it. So we've got a swoop bike that's going to be coming into our line. So we'll see what happens with that in a minute. You could, you could overrun someone, do that, plus shoot. Yeah, I won't, I won't have, you won't have actions. enough actions to do it. No, well, okay. Actually, if I do that... Will touch his base. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, could do do, that. you could do that as your compulsory move because you can't. Um, I've already done the compulsory. No, no, do that as a move because yeah. you can't displace someone unless it's a compulsory move with a speeder. You can't. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so you can't uh, displace. So I did the move, then I do the compulsory. Then you do the compulsory, which yep. displaces him. Yeah. Which gives them a suppression. And does my overrun. Yep. Do your overrun. <clears throat> a red and two whites. Yep. Watch this do nothing. Did a hit. <clears throat> One hit on them. Oh. oh, he killed. Killed a death trooper. And then I'll shoot them for good measure. And shoot them, yep. That doesn't do suppression, does it? Because it's close combat. It, well, it's, it's not an attack. So it's not an attack, it yeah. is. And the shooting does a surge, which hits. Yep. Yes. Oh, he killed another one. He's killed two death troopers. And another suppression. And another suppression. Lucky moths there. If he survives this round, he could be man of the match. He could be. To survive yeah. the game, he will be man of the match. <laughs> He's done well. Done well. Um, who have we got left? Oh, I want to get rid of him. I think I'll do the um, the shore troopers. The shore troopers here will... Um, 
got an aim already, so they'll just shoot him. So the shore troopers get four black and then two red for the stormtrooper DLT. That's joined them. Yeah. Got an aim already, so they'll just shoot at the bike. They don't surge at all. So we roll those. All right, so two for cover, say. So three crits to say. All three with blanks. <laughs> with blanks. Did his points worth killing two death troopers? Wait. Okay, so that was pretty much the highlight of uh, turn two that swoop bike swooping in and doing our first ever overrun attack. I hope we got it right. I think um, the compulsory move is the only one that can displace a model and do the overrun attack. Anyway, that's how we played it. Didn't make much difference, but it swooped in. Uh, did its overrun attack, killed a death trooper, and then shot a death trooper. Um, a death trooper, yeah, death troopers. I'm getting my deaths and darks mixed up here. Uh, so the rest of the turn's pretty much um, some pot shots backwards and forwards. You've got uh, Gar Saxon jumps up on the rock there, knocking some uh, pikes off the rock, and he decides to have a crack at Moff Gideon. So from up on his rock, um, I've just finished painting my own Shadow Collective army. And I've painted um, Gar Saxon, but I'm probably going to run more. Uh, but Garth, the last few games I've had against Shadow Collective, I've faced Gar Saxon, and he's pretty good. Very handy character, being able to jump around, and his rifle. I think I'd probably go with the short-range configuration, or the flamer or something. Anyway, he's, uh, he's pretty good value as well. He's having a crack here at Moff Gideon, but uh, Moff Gideon's... Uh, surging save his Mandalorian copy armor um, he saves I think he just takes a suppression maybe a wound can't remember there but anyway Moff Gideon's okay and then we return some fire back up at those um, pikes sitting up on the rock they've got a commanding spot there with all their uh, dodges and danger sense and things like that as well and my final activation I just have a pot shot with the T21 at the pikes up on the rock and then those scouts duck around behind the rock there to keep themselves alive for later on keep those activations so it's a very cagey game so far anyway we're on to turn three getting interesting now turn three your order mine is you have something I want. Marked for elimination. Oh. Sounds another, impressive again. Another though. dramatic uh, yeah. card. So basically, oh, you're kill it. choose an yeah. enemy character. Yeah. You've only got one, so yeah. you yeah. made my life easy. Uh, that unit gains four observation and two suppression tokens. And right. Gar also gets two aims. Right. Okay. Would you like to guess which of my characters is going first? <laughs> um. So, Moff Gideon, I've put him in a bit of trouble. He's moved up. He's already taken one wound. He's got a couple of suppression on him. And Gar Saxon has marked him for elimination. So he's going to take another wound there. I've dropped the Dark Troopers right up the back corner there to cause a distraction. So he's going to have to deal with them. But uh, he's determined to assassinate Moff Gideon. So we'll see if he can survive. Now done. So first of all, I'll roll, see if you get rid of my suppression. Yep. Oh, 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 they get rid of both. Then, coming close. I'm at range two. Pretty yep. sure I'm going to be at range two. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh, that gives me two black and two black. I've used my rockets there, so I can't use that. Uh, I've lost my shields. I've got lethal, so one attacking may spend one aim to gain pierce one. Okay. And there's two things on him. So let's see what we can do. Oh. There's a crit. Yeah. We'll use these two to re-roll two. Re-roll two. Two observations, yes. There's another hit. Yeah. Uh, so we'll use... The hit will go for cover suppression. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then we'll use the aim. To make it pierce here. one. Yep. So it takes one. Takes a wound. And another suppression. The moth. 
Okay, so Moff Gideon's taken another wound. He's taken three wounds. I was looking to see if he was impervious, but his Beskar armor isn't really Beskar, so he is susceptible to ranged pierce. The Darksaber protects him up close, but uh, he can get shot with pierce easy. So I've got to be a bit more careful with him. Uh, these Stormtroopers are going to fire rockets and everything into those Mandos, but um, the Mandos survive. One left still. And um, the assassination attempt continues on Moff Gideon. That's it, dead. So they're all within three. Yep. So we have. Let's see what we can do. Come on, lads. Surge to hit? No, I don't. Look at all those surges. Wow. Four surges. Oh, come on. All right, we need that aim. Yep. Um, well, surges aren't doing anything for me, are they? You got a surge, haven't you? I got one surge, yeah, so yep. we'll keep one surge. Yeah. Um, and we'll reroll two for the aim. Yeah. I just took off. Yep. I gave him an aim before I did. I don't know where I put the aim time. You just took it off. Yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah. I did. Yeah. So there'll be five hits. Yep. Two for cover. Yep. Yep. Three saves. Three saves for the off. He's only got two wounds left. Triple blank. Oh no. Oh, it's not like a Mando's. He's got man. He's got surging red saves, and he just rolled a triple blank. The moth is down. So the mighty moth Gideon has fallen. I was probably a little bit too uh, brash with him, moving up, relying on his armor, and it failed me. Uh, so these uh, dark troopers have poked their nose around the corner here, laying some fire into those pikes. They managed to get rid of three of them. And then with some return fire, I think maybe some Mandos fired back there, and I ended up um, losing a couple of Dark Troopers there. So they whittled them down pretty quick. I end up with only about three Dark Troopers left. Um, so he's fighting them off. They're causing a distraction. All right, and that's pretty much it for turn three. So um, we tidy up. Just a few units moving around, making sure we can still uh, intercept the transmissions. And we'll move on to One turn four. Will survive. Turn four. And it's round four. It's a scoring round. Round four. All right. Well, I'll roll the dice this time yep, on, a, on a block. It is the remnants. No, it's you. All right. So I go first. So first yep. of all, I'm going to issue three less orders, strangely. Yeah. Which means that I get to place... Three dodge tokens. Yep. Do I move. I'm within range anyway, and I'm just going to die wherever I am. So yep. I'm just going to aim and shoot them. Aim and shoot them. Yeah. So three. That's what I would do. Two. And that. You still got your impact weapon. That's why. That's why I took a dodge. Gideon, stick up. Just, just throw five crits. That's two crits. Yeah. And I'll leave that for hit. Yep. Um, and rolling for my aim. Yep. Another hit. Mm -hmm. So I'll dodge one. Dodge one. I'll three saves into a crit. Yep. Three saves. Oh, take a wound. Okay, so a scoring round, and so I've dropped the dark troopers back behind here. He's already killed a couple of them. Um, and they're going to move up and lay some fire into these pikes. Uh, so he's a bit worried about these dark troopers, and they're inching ever closer to that uh, intercept the transmission point. So he has to send the mandos back as well. So he sends the mandos back, fires rockets into them. Uh, eventually the dark troopers are going to finish off those pikes. It's going to take a bit with danger sense and dodges and things like that. But... Um, he has to do something about those dark troopers on that um, intercept the transmission point. So I do have the advantage here. I've got death troopers and scouts on the center point, And uh, they're laying some fire into those pikes. Those pikes are proving very difficult to get rid of because they're danger sense and dodges and so on. They are hard to kill. I just had to tell that dog to be quiet. Anyway, he's going to stop barking now, he tells me. So the deaths and the scouts on the center point, and then I'm holding this one back here. So those um, pikes backed up by Gar Saxon, trying to make a threat on the center point, but he's sent his mandos back to deal with the uh, dark troopers. 
So being a scoring round, we're going to end up in control of all the objectives. So Gar Saxon moving up and doing some work there as well. Um, and those pikes, they're staying there shooting instead of um, they're, they're out in the open as well, in most of the case. So they've got their danger sense um, saves, which is proving hard to get through. Um, where we're putting everything we've got into those pikes there to try and get rid of them, but we just keep adding suppression and they keep rolling uh, really good saves. Um, you can see the uh, Mandos have moved up and they're firing rockets into everything they've got into my Dark Troopers, and in the end I've just got one Dark Trooper left who is going to be standing on that uh, point controlling it. So um, the Remnants are going to be scoring three points on turn four. Can we keep going? Turn five. Well, I'm just going to do them. Don't like those pikes. Aim and fire at the pikes. You've got suppression cover still. Mm -hmm. And a dodge now. And a dodge. Oh, no. Good name. Oh, I've got a crit. All right, so suppression cover. You can dodge one, save one. Well, save one, so three dice. <laughs> yeah, that's safe. Feast or famine, yeah. You're up. Well, as you can see, the, my dark troopers, they scored me a point this round, but um, there's mandos. Still a full squad of mandos there and another one behind the tree. And they finished off the Dark Troopers. So the Dark Troopers are gone. And uh, we're in a firefight here. I've still got a couple of uh, a unit of Shore Troopers, a unit of Scouts, uh, Death Troopers, a couple of units of Scouts, and um, Storm Troopers. And they're fighting off uh, that unit of Pikes with Gar Saxon. So Gar Saxon's had enough of this. He jumps up on top of the rock there. And he's going to make short work of my scouts. So I think he fired a flamer or something. Anyway, he makes short work of the scouts. My scouts are gone. So he still has two full units of mandos. Lucky we've got a good 5-1 lead. Um, as we try and finish off those, those pikes, they've got a heap of suppression. And so we lay some fire into them. But uh, with danger sense and dodges and so on, um, they're surviving pretty well. So never discount pikes. They are hard to get rid of. Look, there he's save three. So um, surging saves and those extra dice, they can be hard to remove. But the big worry for us, uh, for the remnants, is there's still two full squads of mandos there, as you can see. So that's pretty much it for that turn. We put a couple of shots into Gar Saxon, a couple of shots into the Pikes, but to no avail. And we go into turn six with a 5-1 lead to the I can't believe remnants. it. We made it to turn six. Must nominate a mercenary unit. Oh, gee, I wonder which Bush. one. All right, round six. Holy boost. Yeah, I'm, I'm still up, thinking it? about what oh, yeah. yep. card I want to put down. And into turn six, and those pikes, there's two left, and we've been shooting them at them all game. I've got um, a couple of units on the center point here, the death troopers and a couple of scout troopers left. And then we realized that uh, he needed to rally the um, pikes. So the pikes did not rally. They've only got one action, so they um, decided to stand there and shoot because they're not going to get onto the objective. So, yeah, I do have um, the Scouts and the Death Troopers on that center point and some, uh, I think I've got some Shore Troopers on the other point. So they're just clinging on, but he has Gar Saxon, has to come over and claim a point, and the Mandos. So he's got one unit of Mandos back on his the objective up the left-hand end of the table. So they have to stay there to maintain that objective. So, as you can see, the Mandos jump down and they uh, try and finish off the Scouts, but I have one brave Scout Sergeant left, so he's going to keep control of that objective with the Death Troopers, and then Gar Saxon's trying to claim the other objective, and I jump out of the woods, and then with a Speed 2 move, put those Storm Troopers back on the other uh, control. So, yeah, as you can see, those Mandos have to stay to control that point, and he jumps over and gets one on the center point, but um, the remnants 
will uh, manage to still hold the centre point with that final scout sergeant and the death troopers holding that centre point. He would have come around there. I'll see if he gets rid of his suppression. Yeah, he does. Would have come around there and just had a shot at the pikes to try and get their, you know, make them panic, you know? Yeah. They're not going to kill anyone. And that's it. So you'll get that one up there, but we'll, we'll still hold the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. At least you face the dark troopers. You know what they do now. Yeah, probably not worth investing the effort on them. No, well, you probably need, you wasted rockets on other guys there. You probably could have. No, the, even when I was shooting the rocket, I shot two lots of rockets at them. Yeah. And yeah, you still get saved, which is red saves. Still red saves, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it was yeah. like, oh, well. I'm used to shooting vehicles which have like white saves, that's it. And you're like, yeah, as soon as yeah. you go through, it's like disappears. And it's like, yeah. Um, yeah, they're hard to kill. You've got to, you've got to concentrate on them and try and finish them off. Yeah. Now, the thing that killed me in this game was the limit of visibility. Because I was trying to use the, um, I got longer range four here that didn't do anything. So I set up first turn for long range mm. shots and couldn't do anything. And then. My mandos of range three and four rockets, so I could have, you know, jumped over here and shot your dark troopers early. Yeah, early, yeah, you could have rocketed them early. Um, yeah, but I couldn't, yeah, which you meant... You don't want to give them limited viz, yeah. Which means you got all the way over there, and then it was like, ah, well, can't deal with them now. Because um, if I got rid of them, or... Let, the other thing is, if I got rid of Moth early... Yeah, yeah. Then... Yeah, but if it's if it's not limited viz, then moth hides yeah back here and stays there. Yeah, you know? and probably the dark troopers stay there as well until they they can go and teleport somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, limited viz well, it affected my guys. I got all range four suppressive guns as yeah. well, and so on. So yeah, but um, yeah, they are hard to kill. Imagine if you had to face two of them, two years of dark troopers. Well, the other thing, I mean, I think I thought about that. It's like, well, it's if they're six strong, that's like. 450 points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Moth's 100, so that's 550. What else you got? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. But you can take, you don't have to take Moth, you can just take a commander, you know? Yeah. So you can take two years of them, fill it out with crap, and just have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are they are tough, but they're not unkillable, but they're just like a like a tank with red saves. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching another Creaky Gamers production. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more battle reports. Bye for now.